Hey guys, something different today. Instead of working over in our corner on a lawnmower, we have a log splitter. It's a Floatron log splitter. Oh, did you um, today? Do you want to it? <laughs> two complaints with this thing. One is that it leaks hydraulic oil from one of these seals here. And then also the reason why it's fully extended is because they say it doesn't retract back. So let's fire it up and confirm we have that problem that we can't retract the hydraulic cylinder and we'll go from there. All right, let's confirm before we do anything that there is enough hydraulic oil in here. Yeah, there is. And then, let's make sure there's oil. Oil? No, oil. 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 Yep. He's saying oil. Oil. That's good. Oil. Let's get a pan out of there in case it wants to leak. Okay, two things we observed. One, once I ran the ram forward, then it leaked out the front seal there. Two, it did not go in reverse. So, that could be two things. One, the pressure is leaking by inside of the cylinder, or there's something wrong with the spool and the valve. Uh, do the easiest thing first. I think I'm going to take the control valve off and take a look at that. Okay. Let's start by taking this cotter pin off. Another screw down in there. All right, let's go to the back side of this spool. I think this is the, possibly the reverse detent, I'm not quite sure. So this is how that spool sat in there and these are different diverting channels when you move the spool it sends it into the cylinder in different paths and this is the seal that was just it was all kitty wampus like this I wonder if that was stopping 
the flow going to the direction you want it to when you wanted it to reverse. So, um, I'm going to see if I can look up a diagram of how this was supposed to sit inside of here and see where this seal goes. If it comes and sits all the way against here, but that's what this seal is for to, to not allow the hydraulic oil to leak out of the housing. So where does this guy go? That's the question. Okay, so what I can gather is that this area is supposed to be clear where your spools are. So I moved this wiper seal all the way down to the end. I'm, I don't know if it got pulled over here when I pulled it out or what, but so I'm going to seat it here and seat it back in there and see if that changes the operation at all of this guy. I wonder if that one seal, like I said, if that was if that had come off and was inside the spool somewhere where it shouldn't have been, or if that just got pulled onto the spool when we when we pulled the spool out. So oh, let's button this up and then try retracting it again, see if that'll do it. Lever back on. We don't have to put the cotter pins in just yet. Just for testing purposes, we want to make sure. Just to test it out. Alright, let's fire it up again. Let's see if we can get it to retract. Okay, so looking at the, the control valve, that appears to be working fine. The only way to really test that would to be to open this up to see if it is putting hydraulic fluid down this way. It'd be easier to test that one, that line, to take that off on the back end because that's easy to do. This is hard piped in. So I think our next option is to chase the seals on here. There's probably an internal seal bad that when you try to reverse it, it's just blown by that seal and that's why it won't come back and it's instead not.
I didn't want to rest it on the on the piston just because you don't want to mar this up because that could screw up your future seal. So I did get it up on this bucket that's holding it by the cylinder. But now we gotta take off this snap ring here. And that will allow us to get this uh, this plate off. And then we'll see if we can pull this out by hand or I've seen guys fire up the log splitter and send it forward and just push it out. That makes a huge oily mess but it's better than hooking up a tractor or a truck and pulling this thing out but we'll see how easy it is so let's get this snap ring out here I'll grab some tools I'm gonna use a brass punch so I don't damage anything this is the first snap ring I've only seen with one tab the other tab I don't know if it's gotten broken off or if there's one that doesn't exist. I want to I wanna know if I can punch the snap ring down. Mm. Can you see that? That is threaded. So, the back end of this piston is either threaded on or bolted on. That's why it wouldn't retract because there was nothing there to grab this ram and pull it back. Let's go back to the cylinder. You hear that? <laughs> I think it's a clue. Oh, I'm pretty sure that is the bolt that holds our our piston with the back half of the piston that seals against the cylinder that when you put reverse flow in here it would push on that back plate and move it back so that's our issue that's why it won't retract now the question is how are we, how are we going to get that out of there we need to start by taking off this gland snap ring out. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh boy. Oh, that snap ring just broke into pieces. Into a bunch of pieces. Okay, so that snap ring was supposed to have those two loops. Like I said, I've never seen a snap ring with only one loop. Let's try to save all these pieces so we can put them back together. So we can get the right size in the future. Oh, I need a magnet. Have to fish out the piece that fell down in there. Okay. See if we can. What we're trying to do is. Relieve the tension on this 
chunk that's stuck so we can get it out. There's a guy now between his land and that snapping. He's like, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's my second two driver in the bucket. Oh. Oh, man, that's not good. Okay, I was able to tilt this bad boy up so we weren't working in such an awkward position. You see our snap ring is still in there. My theory is, if I can, I know that snap ring's probably hardened. But I'm wondering if I can drill a hole in here to be able to get a tool in there and pry it out. Let's see. Really? Clean this up quite well, I'm not going to Oh boy. Ooh. I'm Oh, I'm too fast now. Fuck out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Snap ring is out. You can see some damage we did to the face of the gland. That's fine. And then to the snap ring slot, there's a little damage. That's also fine. We can we'll make sure we sand that down when we before we put new seals in and we put this back in. The question is, how are we gonna pull this sucker out now? I think I need I need a slide hammer to come in here and to open up and grab and then we gotta slide hammer it out like that. Um, I don't have one. I'm sure Harbor Freight does for cheap. Oh, here was the various tools we, <laughs> it took us to get that out. And uh, here's the pieces we have of it. So I'm thinking if I keep these all together and bring it in, we can match it up to an existing snap ring. And get the right size of it because everything that I've looked up on this Floatron log splitter uh, I can't find a parts manual I can only find the brand Floatron on Alibaba AliExpress so it's straight out of Dongdu China and I can't find anything for it so alright guys there's the reason why that log splitter wouldn't retract the back of the cylinder, there must be, we, get, we heard it rolling around inside of the cylinder, must bolt onto the, the rod, the ram, and when that unthreaded itself and fell off, there was nothing there to catch that hydraulic pressure to push that back into the cylinder, so. Um, I have to get a slide hammer, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of to drop the jaws down in there, grab that, and to pull that sucker out. If you can think of another idea or know of one, leave a comment. If this is fun hanging out in the shop, guys, consider subscribing. Um, I'm going to talk to the owner, too, and let them know what we found so far. I still think it's worth saving, but like I said, we need the tool to pull that out. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.